want to get right to it, Cloudy. You that last part there, where you know it says that there the, there is a need to strengthen our privacy laws in Canada to protect people from this very thing. Until that's done, is there any protection, or could some other company just come in, change its name, and do exactly the same thing? Well, that's the unfortunate part, Hannah. Nice to see you again. The fact is that even if Clearview AI is prevented from from doing business this way. Uh, the people behind it, the companies behind it, the, the venture capitalists behind it can easily spin up another organization and again sell into law enforcement. That's why it's, it's always surprising to me that law enforcement uh, agencies, in particular in Canada, um, weren't thinking ahead when they signed that kind of a deal with clearly what is a privacy invasive tool. Speaking of being privacy invasive, in a way, we are responsible for our own invasion of our privacy, are we not? Well, that that uh, that depends. Uh, the fact is, when we're on social media and we um, we adjust our own privacy settings to indicate to the platform that we do care mm -hmm. about, about privacy, that platform knows exactly the degree to which we care about privacy. Uh, you and I and everybody else, uh, we all know that we've got some privacy controls on Facebook, on Twitter, right. uh, et cetera. And those platforms do know that we care about sharing a certain amount of information or not sharing certain information. So to a large extent, we still have this expectation of control over our personal information, over our identity, over our um, likeness, mm -hmm. our pictures, and, and so on. So that expectation of control, it's what's being violated here. The fact that Canadians are walking around saying, well, you know what, we've got a dozen laws here in Canada that deal with privacy. Surely amongst all of those laws, there must be something that's protecting my identity and my personal information, even though I might be wanting to be a part of a community right. on the internet. Right. So I gave my consent specifically to be a part of a community um, on, let's say, social media. That doesn't mean anyone can come and scrape my images and correlate that data with other information picked up elsewhere and build this treasure trove of personally identifiable, uniquely identifiable data about each individual that they're looking at. That is a clear violation. And Claudio, that's exactly what they did. They scraped billions of images, kind of like, you know, turned it into mass surveillance. But let me ask you this. If you want to get out of that, I mean, part of the statement said the company must delete photos of Canadians in its database. I'm wondering if that's enough, because as I understand it, in order for Clearview to delete your photo, withdraw from their results, you have to send them a photo. How weird is that? Yeah, that's, that's a laughable uh, argument. Uh, the fact that you have to opt out of something that you didn't know you were part of in the in the first place, and then you have to send more identifiable information so as to match the data that's on file. They will then take the information that you send, put it together with the wrapper, i.e. the email, the email address, your IP address, et cetera, whatever way that you're sending it in, an envelope. Um, that's, that's a laughable and insulting concept uh, to begin with. So that's that can't be considered a valuable and a valid uh, argument in in this case uh, as we all know once information gets out there's no way to bring it back in it's it's a can of worms especially in the age of the internet where once you put it online you you don't know who's got access to to your data um, but you hope that at least authoritative government agencies are responsible and ethical enough to not collect it and correlate it with other data without your knowledge and consent. Always great to talk to you and you always uh, open my eyes uh, to, you know, potential pitfalls out there and that social community that so many Canadians wish to be a part of. But great to talk to you, Claudio. You take care. My pleasure, Sohanna. Have a nice day. You too. Cybersecurity expert, Claudio Popa.